Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, y'all. Let's get some universal messages. Let's see what is the guidance the universe has for you. We're going to use the um, Beyond the Self Oracle deck. Get that information for you. Help guide you on your journey ahead. What is the um, guidance here for Pisces? Say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good. Okay? This is the universe wanting you to let go of certain energies, you know, of the past, right? Some of you are letting your past hold you back or keeping you still. You know what I mean? The universe wants you to be right here in the present moment, right? You have to live for the now. So say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good, right? It's time to move on and be happy, right? Be present, so that's the guidance, Pisces, leaving the past behind, right? Letting it go for good, right? Really moving on, really forgiving and just letting go, send it out into the universe, right? To strive ahead, okay? Just let it go. Like, what, what purpose is it serving you? How is it helping you, you know, to keep holding on to it? So let's get some... um healing messages or affirmations or, you know, any other guidance the universe may be having for you at this time. Okay. We have inspiration and um, courage. Inspiration and courage. Prayers and wishes. Go with the flow. It's another one in here that's flipped over. And this make a move. Make a move. Right? So this is what the universe is speaking to you, Pisces. First of all, Okay, it's time to say goodbye to the past and leave the baggage behind for good. Okay, we need um, inspiration and courage, right? We got to be inspired by our thoughts and true feelings, right? Our true thoughts, true feelings is leading us to do something. And we have to have the courage to listen to it and pursue it, even though it may change our lives. It may change our situations. You know what I'm saying? It may put us in a place where we're very uncomfortable, but we have to be inspired by what we truly feel and have the courage to take the necessary steps to make changes, right? Prayers and wishes, okay? Some of you have been asking for something and the universe is preparing you for it, right? You, your prayers and wishes are about to be answered, right? It's like, but you got to overcome something, right? You have to be inspired by your truth and you have to live in that truth, right? And then your prayers and wishes will be answered, okay? You have to go with the flow. Stop resisting the forward movement. You know, stop resisting what your intuition is telling you, right? What your true heart's desire is. Just go with it. Right. Bring that poise into your life, that calmness, that sense of peace. Right. You it ha you have free will. So you have to make a move. Pisces, you see the little fish splashing under there. It's encouraging you to make that move. Right. Even if you're going in the opposite direction of someone else. OK. And you just have to follow your heart's desire here, Pisces. And this is the um, universal guidance here. Right. This is something you may need to be aware of, something you need to take action of on or just a reminder, just a little guidance and encouragement to remind you of what what you're doing and who you're doing it for. All right, Pisces, let's hop into this. Let's check up on the energy of your person. 
Let's see how they feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. Let's see what is the energies around this situation. It's the person you think about. Whoever's on your mind at this time when you look at this reading. Okay. So let's see. We're going to uh, pull a four cards from here and try to see if what we can figure out what's all going on here. Take these messages if they resonate with you. If they don't, you know, just leave it for someone else. Okay. Okay. So first card we have showing up is damage. Okay, and this card say we are both hurting from this. Okay. So this is a situation to where communication is needed on the situation, right? Whatever that situation is, we're going to clarify it. But I get a feeling like, you know, it's a communication, a lack of communication, a lack of being honest with each other, right? Right? But then we got destiny, right? And this card says, I'm struggling to find the right path, right? Because how can you be on the right path with someone if you're not communicating with them the way that you're supposed to be communicating, right? About the future, about the present, about what our, you know, goals are, where we see ourselves, or is this connection even for us, right? Like the hard conversations need to be had, right? Because this is like a couple that's together, but, but that's so indecisive about each other, right? It's like we wasting time. We moving forward here with each other, but we're not communicating and properly and that's damaging both of us because see we might be on different terms we might want different things we might both of us might be headed towards a different destiny and somebody struggling to find their right path because they trying to you know be with someone that they're not talking to about what they want so it's like, I know my inability to make a decision hurts you, right? Us not being able to communicate with each other is what's draining this relationship, right? Unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss, right? It's all about... um communication at this point reciprocity is what's crossing that energy uh i want to have an equal give and take right so this situation needs to come into balance it needs to be fair right there needs to be communication about what each other's wants and needs are right because when you stay in communication with your person it, it just makes you, you know, you. it's easier to make decisions, right? Because maybe you changed. Maybe you wanted to go to law school, but now you just want to go back to the country and, and, and live a, a, a different type of lifestyle, right? So, and it's like, I need to talk to you instead of, you know, going off into my head and being unhappy to, with day-to-day -day life, I'd rather just open up and communicate to you what I feel. I never know. You might want to still come. You might still trust and believe in this relationship, right? But I would never know that if I don't speak on it, right? So with destiny, I'm struggling to find the right path. I don't know which way to go with this situation because somebody could be afraid that if they do what they feel in their heart that they're going to lose you. So it's hard to make a decision around that, right? It's like, because I still want you, right? Somebody still wants to be with a person. They just feel different about how the way my, the, their life is going at this time. Right. But it's unfinished business because the conversation need to be had. Y'all need to resolve your issues and discuss them. And maybe things could be balanced out. Maybe you all can have that reciprocity in your life. OK, so let's hop into this. Let's see what's going on here with you and your person. 
right? So y'all causing each other damage by not being in a space where y'all can communicate with each other, right? Y'all both hurting each other, okay? So y'all need to communicate and bring things into balance here with justice, right? You need to be fair about the situation. And sometimes the truth just hurts here with justice. Sometimes the truth can hurt. Right? If if you uh realize that you and your person not on the same page and y'all walking different paths in life and but y'all are still together, right? Because they don't want to hurt you or you don't want to hurt them. So I'ma just sit around and deal with it knowing damn well I'm unhappy. But if you just communicate, right? It may change things, right? So it's being fair about the situation, speaking the truth, right? In that karmic cycle. Nine of Pentacles, right? I don't feel like this is like being single. I just feel like this is taking responsibility for yourself, right? See the bird? She's sending the message, right? The messenger, communicate your truth, right? Stand in your power, stay in your power. And it isn't to disrespect your person. It's just to be true, right? You, you be more respected on how you respect yourself, right? It's all about being honest with yourself. That's what life's about, right? That way we won't waste time with people we weren't supposed to be with for a long time, right? Judgment. We can't make up excuses, right? We feel what we truly feel and we need to speak on it. If we on different paths, then we on different paths, right? If we don't feel the same about certain situations that occur in our lives, we don't, right? This is about ascension in within yourself. This is about communicating and being honest and true to yourself and true to your person. Like I said, you never know. If you talk about certain things, if if you know, you never know what type of person what, uh, what they would sacrifice how would they compromise right but if we just gonna sit here and not speak on our issues then yeah it's gonna create problems doubts and fears right my mouth was so dry but destiny I'm struggling to find the right path right so let's see cause something is faded here because destiny speaks of faith so it's like this could be like a soulmate, a karmic relationship to where you have to learn how to open up and communicate with your person, right? You got to overcome the fear, work on your throat chakra, right? And that could be you or your person, take it how it resonates. But the only way to bring this situation into balance is to learn how to be fair, right? You need fairness and so does your person. You have to learn to speak your truth, right? You have to make sure that you're solid enough within yourself to speak your truth. You have to be open and honest with yourself. In return, you could be open and honest with other people. You judgment, you can't make up excuses. This is how you raise yourself, whatever level you're trying to get to, whatever frequency you're trying to vibrate at. You, you, you need to work on your throat chakra, right? Because not being in a place where you could speak your truth is damaging to any relationship you may have right? And this is a part of your fate. This is a part of destiny, right? This is a lesson that you need to learn. And the person you with just may be that soulmate that comes to teach you that, right? The magician, right? You had the magician. The first rule of magic is to write it down, <laughs> It's the first lesson in manifestation, right? Is to write it down. And to write it down, you get to, get to see it so you can speak it, right? So it's like something that's faded, right? Manifestation, your life, right? You create it. You create it. In order for it to be strong and meaningful, you have to be able to be truthful, to yourself, at least, right? And in turn, you can with others, right? Eight of Wands. 
it, it communication for one, right? You it's, it takes a lot for some people to manifest their realities, right? But being open, truthful, and honest, right, can have you on the right track. Communication is a big part of somebody out here being on the right track. You need to work on your throat chakra. And it may be challenging, right? And it may be a lot to do. And it may be a lot coming at you. See how all the wands are just, you know, it may be a lot coming at you. And it may be a lot that you have to handle and take on. But that's a, a thing that you need to add to your responsibility, right? Because you have to learn this lesson in order to elevate here with judgment to the next level. Right? You got to become solid within yourself. That's how you break the karmic cycle of this cycle. Right? Whatever cycle that is you're going through. Whatever's keeping you from speaking at this time. Your truth. That's how you're going to end that karmic cycle. By just, you know, standing in your power. Right? And it may be this relationship may stop you from doing that. This what this message could be as well. You know, take it how it resonates because I felt like it could be somebody who shuts your throat chakra down, right? Someone just being in their presence, being in their energy, feel like you can't talk to them, can't speak to them, right? But you, you can't leave them, right? It just, you know, that throat chakra has to be active, okay? King of Swords. You know, this King of Swords, he got a lot of emotion, right? And it's a lot in him telling him he hold that emotion back, but he's an air sign. So he's one of those signs who able to speak their truth, someone who's respected, right? But he does a lot of holding back, right? And it's like you, you're never going to reach that point, right? Until you unlock the throat chakra. You can't hold back what you feel, Right? Because he holding back what he feel. And the universe is saying, it doesn't matter what relationship you in, who you deal with. You cannot hold back what you feel, especially if you have to keep dealing with a person. You have to be able to speak in a respectful way to get them to respect you. They only going to respect you as much as you respect yourself. And if you're not brave enough to speak your truth, they'll walk all over you. Right? They will shut you down. They will make you feel powerless. They will manipulate the situation. You can't be too nice. You can't be too naive. You can't be too trusting. You have to let people earn your trust, just like you have to earn theirs, right? We don't go around just trusting people because we're nice and, you know, that's who we are. People have to show you that they're worthy of that. But how are you going to know what you're worthy of if you're not speaking your truth? If you can't speak your truth to your partner, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Not speaking up on it is what's damaging this situation. And in order to get on the right track to whatever's faded for you in your life and whatever destiny you have available to you, you're going to have to learn how to take on all these challenges and still stand and be strong. You're no longer going to be able to hold back what you feel. You, It's time for you to start speaking what you feel. People will respect it. They don't have a choice because they only going to respect you as much as you respect yourself. Right? Magician up here. It's up to you to take action on manifesting the heck out of your life. Right? Can't be indecisive. I know my inability to make decisions hurt you. It don't only hurt you. It hurts uh, others as well. Right? So something around this relationship, you know, you can't really make a decision. Right? You don't want to let go. You want to hold on to what it was, what it used to be. This Six of Cups is past energy and it's a lot of joy there. But if that's not what's happening now, right? The universe said, Pisces, say goodbye, right? To the past. Leave the baggage behind for good, right? So, I mean, the Six of Cups speaks of the past. It was good in the past, right? A lot of good memories, but it may not be the same now. And you may be holding on to a memory, right? Opposed to what it is. Because the universe, remember, it was like, I need you to be present. I need you to be in this moment. I can't, I can't, you got to let go of 
the past, whatever you believed, whatever that was, because things has changed, right? You got the opportunity to start something new. You have the opportunity, you know, for new beginnings, right? A new passion, new opening. And, and it ain't like, okay, um, another person, right? It could just be you having some form of awakening or you just changed and being different from your person now, right? Because we used to be happy, right? We used to be in a great place, but you know, as time passed by, we got a lot of differences. And because of the love we shared and the memories that we have, we hold on to that, knowing that we both have changed and it's just not the same. So speaking your truth gives you so many opportunities, right? To miss a lot of time wasting, you know, to miss a lot of time wasting. You, you had the opportunity not to waste any more time as long as you can make decisions, right? Make a move, right? Your prayers and wishes coming true, right? Be inspired by what you feel and have the courage to pursue whatever whatever movement you're taking, right? Page of Pentacles. No more hiding what you feel. No more not being seen, not being heard. No more being in the shadows, Show the world who you are. Take responsibility for what you feel and what you want to produce in your life. You cannot let your throat chakra shut down, right? You can't let a person shut you down. Just keep being, because it's unfinished business, right? And it's like... You guys respect each other with this King of Swords out here, right? But we still have things that we need to resolve and things that we need to discuss, right? And that's the truth, right? Let's be honest with each other. Because right now, it's a lot of conflict between us internally. I feel like it's internal conflict. And when you're not dealing with that, it makes you can't stand a person, right? You look at them with the... You know the face, right? Time to be honest about how you truly feel, right? It's time to open up and speak some of that truth here with the high priestess. She's very secretive, right? She 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 keeps things in secret. She holds what she really feels um definitely inside of her. And it like I said, it's just time to let them feelings out. It's time to be true. To that person that lives in you. It's time to speak on it. Right? Trust that your intuition will lead you in the right direction. You got to have courage. You can't be afraid to sh shut down your own voice. Knight of swords. Right? It's time to make a move. Right? Don't even think about it. Just speak. The knight of swords, he don't think. He just does. He does. He's impulsive. He goes right off of what he feel right here with the high priestess, right? And that, that intuition in you is strongly urging you to let out what you need to say, what you feel truly to your person. If you can't talk to your person, who else can you really talk to? Because your partner should be the closest person to you. And if they're not, and you're not in a space where you're comfortable enough to speak with them, you know, some decisions need to be made. We need to stop being so indecisive about it, right? We need to stand in our power, strengthen our throat chakra, speak it. And sometimes it can be a sad story, right? Because somebody's so unhappy. Yeah, I still have love for my person, but I'm so unhappy. I'm not fulfilled in this situation no more. That's why the universe wants you to be present. Because some of you guys are with people who is not the same person they used to be. You may not even be the same person that you used to be. Maybe you both changed and you changed in different ways. And it's just not working anymore. It happens. But you can't keep holding on to it. It's time to have an equal take a uh, equal balance of give and take right it's time to be fair right with justice it's time to rise it's time to not make up no more excuses right this isn't me saying get rid of your person if y'all can't come to terms this is just the 
universe saying like, be honest with yourself, right? Be in the present moment, right? Be right here with what's going on now, not what was going on in the past. What's happening in your relationship now? Why are you not speaking, right? What's, what is part of your destiny? You you have a destiny. You have, Something is fated for you. You have a mission. You can't get stuck right here. But if you don't learn to stand up and be able to speak your truth to someone you say you love and someone who's supposed to love you, someone you got all these memories with, and it's like we used to share everything and now we together, but it's so distant we don't even talk anymore. You know, there's a problem. And if you cannot resolve the issue and get back to that place where you happy, then something else needs to happen, right? That don't mean I don't love you. It just means we changed and I'm not happy no more. You're not happy no more, right? It's, it's just life. What's crossing that energy is the two of pentacles, right? Somebody has to take responsibility for being happy, right? Somebody has to take their own responsibility for being happy for themselves, right? So this is the energy, Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the first chakra, and it's the base chakra, and this one is relevant to responsibility, I plant myself on solid ground by consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words. I rise above excuses and overindulge as I forgive myself for my past indiscretions. I know that I could not have acted in a more evolved way than I was able to at the time, right? So responsibility is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.